1 Kings chapter 5 Preparation and Materials for the Temple Now King Hiram of Tyre sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in the place of his father, for Harim had always been a friend to David. Solomon sent word to Harim, saying, You know that my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. So I intend to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord said to my father David, Your son, whom I set on your throne in your place, shall build the house for my name. Therefore, command the cedars from the Lebanon be, be cut for me. My servant shall will join your servants and I will give you whatever wages you set for your servants. For you know that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidonians. When Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord today who has given to David a wise son to be over this great people. Hiram sent word to Solomon, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I will fulfill all your needs in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from the Lebanon. I will make it into rafts to go by sea to the place you indicate. I will have them broken up there for you to take away, and you shall meet my needs by providing food for my household. So Hiram supplied Solomon's every need for timber of cedar and cypress. Solomon, in return, in turn, gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food for his household and 20 cores of fine oil. Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year. So the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. There was peace between Hiram and Solomon and the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon conscripted forced labour out of all Israel. The Levi numbered 30,000 men. He sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month in shifts. They would be a month in the Lebanon and tw two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of the forced labour. Solomon also had 20,000 labourers and 80,000 stonecutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's 3,300 supervisors who were over the work, having charge of the people who did the work. At the king's command, they quar quarried out great crossly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the Gebelites did the stone cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. This is the word of the Lord.